Jesus, Lord, save us. dogfish, anything else in between that'll take our bait really. There's a few other anglers over there in the distance there catching away at mackerel. So in between casts we'll get a few mackerel feathers out there as well. Try and get some fresh baits in and we'll let you know how we get on. Hopefully a few more fish than what we've been having. We've been having awful luck lately. After that then we're using, well I'm using sand oil and about two year old frozen mackerel straight from my granny's freezer. So it'll be interesting to see how we get on in that. I'll pulley rigs bait it as well, so we'll see how we get on. Okay guys, I'm just gonna show you what I'm dealing with here. There's a rod out fishing. I'm just gonna show you how I bait up with the sand in, take the wee head off it. What I do now, you don't have to do this, but this is what I find works best for me. Nice bit of bloody scent there, get your 3-0 bait holder hook and just thread her around just like you would a worm. Nice and good like that. All the way up until you get to the tail end. Slide it out fully. Pull her through. Pull her up a good bit through like that. And that's what you're left with then. Your panel hook then that's on your rig. Wrap that round. Give her three wraps and nicks in the top like so. And that's your your bait there you're left with. Get your bait elastic then, lash it on wherever I put that. It's in my pocket. Give it a good wee weapon. nice and secure. The rig I'm using is a pulley panel rig. Most anglers know how it, how it works. But for the beginners out there who are tuned in, I'll show you how to tie it. <laughs> up the lane, pulling off, pull the whole thing in, rage it's so angry. There's a good pulley rig on that that I tied myself, Master Bates, link in the description. Yeah, second on that. Okay, before I was so rudely interrupted by a, a boat pulling me in, this is my rig. You have your pulley bait at the top, there's a bit of seaweed on that, don't pay attention to that. So, your bait shield there, it pulls, it's like a pulley. So when the fish takes it, the bait, which is in the sand, pulls it, runs with it. Your fish is down there, waits up there away from the snag. There's other videos out there and describing it better, but that's just a basic synopsis of how it works. All clipped down for aerodynamics, such as that, and that's ready to play. Jesus, Lord, save us. Jesus, it's powerful, whatever it is. That's a fish anyway, yeah. I already pulled the full fucking thing in. <laughs> Hope I got that on camera, it'd be good for you, isn't it? It's rolling, whatever it is. Ran towards the pier, it's a thorny. Lovely. A nice size thorny at that too. Taking on the frozen sand eel. 
I think I'll have to take this up the stairs because the braided line I just don't want it to to snap give it a bit of slack there first of the year hopefully I don't fucking lose it Ah, uh, thorn back. That's a nice one too. Tide's a bit low to get her up here, but sure. Yes. <laughs> the verda sounding. That's it. See, female fish. Yeah, it's away there now, straight down. Lovely. It's always nice to see them swim, on, swim away like that too. Yeah, it's a beautiful sight. All right, lads. Follow down here, all the locals may know him. Liam, Jay, who's a holiday home down here, he's kindly donated me some fresh mackerel for bait, just lively as fuck. So um, we'll get these dispatched and get them straight on the hook, but a fresh bait, you could not beat it. As I say, the two-year-old Granny's Freezer mackerel will take a back seat until we get these bad boys out, bait it up, some fish then on the end of it. But now the mackerel are starting to show. I haven't put a wee feather in the water yet, but we will get one in the water and we'll, we'll let you know. I'll show a few casts from the first person. And yeah. Fresh bait. We may get a if we get a good supply of mackerel, we'll get the tope fish them going as well. But that'll be another another job. So in a bit. I'm just setting up the wee mackie rod here now for a bit of fresh bait. Anyone who's fishing mackerel before knows how to do it. Set of feathers such as that, such as that. Just get it to focus. If it will focus, there we go. Something similar to that. Three ounce weight on the bottom. Get her winged out. Hopefully have a few mackerel fresh bait. Aye. Dinner for a taupe. Imagine a taupe. Boys, couldn't beat that, but there's been a few runs, so we'll hopefully have something to on camera to show you. So this is what we're doing here now. We are fishing a small light mackerel rod, but we set of feathers throwing out trying to get a bit of fresh bait gathered while the other two rods are fishing bait fishing that is one's fishing an old bit of mackerel the other's fishing a fairly fresh frozen sand eel and brand new fresh as <laughs> mackerel that came straight out of the sea combo so there'll be a few more rays about we got got a nice thorny there within two minutes of being here so a few more would be just be sweet we'll let you know whenever we get them them again so yeah you couldn't beat that some fresh fresh bait oh last one that's always the way oh god that's good to see a few mackerel in the bay that's always the way you'll always lose one out of every couple you catch so that's it 
nice joey size for the, the topes. Nice and bloody too. Uh, that was a good wee bait there, wasn't it? Well taken it up. No, that's absolutely not. Right. Well give it we'll let it progress here and see what the crack is. Well, Jesus, that was a good bait there, wasn't it? That was a very topy kind of bait I must say now. Ah oh, Jesus, the, line, the wee line I have is only 30, 35 pounds snood. On that there? I would bite through it if it wasn't dope. Have you a trace on it? Uh, I have traces there, but I don't have a trace out, so I don't... Uh, I might, might set on it. You're catching them up there, obviously here before they go there. Yeah. Uh, that was that was that was a good good promise and bite there. Oh man, Liam, he he's obsessed with fucking dope. That's class. Might get a trace out, a wire one for the dope and full mackerel and. Show the boys up, the other fellas. Master Bates is untied. <laughs> Let's have an absolute shock there. I cannot believe what happened. It was like a, a dirty pull of the rod in, cleaned the, just cleaned the, the line. Only had a f 30, 40 pound trace on, monofilament fluorocarbon sort of job. But right through it, absolute tope. So this is the, the business end now we're going for. This is the business line, just a bit of a, a wire trace. I got this from a guy on Instagram called KC Tackle. 100 pound wire, 60, 60 hook. I tie them myself, but I like trying other people's. I'll probably get my own traces in the water then just for that sense of security, but I didn't bring any, so this is the next best thing. If I have a tope on this now, it'll be buzzing and I'll let him know if he's watching. Peace out. Hopefully a shark to show you, but Jesus boys, I'm in absolute shock here. It's so scary. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing hysterically. Could have been better, could have been could have been a lot better, could have been worse though. The rod could have been pulled in. Very close to being pulled in at that, so we'll get we'll get the next one because it's easy. Don't touch the there, but see there's so like a wee place Ooh. in here you can hold it. Oh my god. And oh then... Jesus Christ, I don't want to hold it. I just want to stroke <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, if you See if you just just feel them around there. It's really spiny, oh but see God. see all around there too. Oh it's God. really spiny. I'll just set this over here because yeah. that's kind of rolling there at the minute. Oh Jeez, that's a good light there. I just got them there out. Uh, that's like a sandy. Oh my God. That was handy, he spat out the hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just literally spat it out. Yeah, he did. He did, yeah, which is great. So I don't have to unhook him. I think. I think I could get away that easily, could I? Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, he spat out the hook. That is brilliant. So that's that's it there. Good stuff. <laughs> Julie's first fish. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, delighted with that. Another one. I'm out. What did you do with him now? I'll just put a video of him swimming away. Well, it's a, it's a her, yeah. You can see her where she lays her eggs there at the wee hole I between his legs. Where? See. There. There? Yeah, that's where it lays eggs. Oh my yeah, so it's a female fish. The females are usually bigger than the males, so that should, in theory, swim away. So elegant in the water, I think, anyway. Just takes a wee second to revive itself, and then... Oh my god, that's amazing. That's only a small one now. You get them up to double figures. You get them a lot bigger than that now. But no, I'm happy with that now. <laughs> That's my second one tonight, so. It's way under the pier. It's just getting its what's about it. 
I was happy enough in there. Doesn't want us to swim away, does it? <laughs> Coming for a wee nap. But sure, you couldn't beat it with a stick, couldn't you, Nat? This one's for Christy, Anglerholics32. Shout out. Congratulations on the birth of your son. We're all delighted here at Master Bates for you. God bless. And that fish is delighted too that it's swam away unharmed. Can't believe it just spat out the hook itself. Lovely. Good luck. PB Tharney there. Get around there. We may have to do something drastic here. Oh yes, lovely fish. That's okay. Let's get a wee bad set of players here now. So. My players are here. If I can spot real quick now, it'll be good. Yeah, you got the go crew, get a light down there. See it if you just leave your mouth open, I'm not trying to hurt you. Well, sorry, you kept the hook. What's the Ready for today. Might weigh this one just because it's barely, just because it swallowed my hook on it. God almighty! <laughs> Here's the five. What a night. 
Uh, I messed it, did I? I think I missed it. Oh, I think it could be a dogfish. That's something there. Yeah, there's something there for dogfish, I think. Could be wrong. Oh no, it's not. It's biting. That's a good old scrap. That's putting up. Oh, it was until I think it unhooked itself. Nope, still scrapping. Good old scrap, this fish. Bam. Look at that. A dolphin jumped over there. Just as I was reeling in a fish. Oh, that's a big man. Oh my god, it's, it's a double figure. Oh, lovely. But we do something drastic and try and get him up here. Uh, double figure. Not so sure. Not even. And four pound Brad. And has he swallowed the hook? He likely has. And would I be arsed on hooking him? Well, someone's got to do it. Wee fish for the for the session. Small farm back took in on double sand boo last time swallowed the whole thing. So we'll get her back. Or is it a her? It's a it's a hen this time possibly. We'll get back now in a second. And that's it. That concludes the session folks. I'll not keep this ray out of the water too long. We'll get home and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. All right, guys, that concludes the wee session there down to Rathmullen Pier. Thanks for tuning in. Basically, it was a grand wee night. Caught four decent rays of all right size. We caught, I caught uh, a dogfish and two mackerel, all on the Masturbates pulley panel rig. If you want to stay tuned, um, keep in touch. Stay tuned, watch me in the next one. We'll be sure to have more videos coming very soon. And if you like anything you see in the video, everything will be linked in the description box, such as any rods we're using, any um, baits we're using, and rigs, that sort of stuff. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll, we'll hopefully see you in the next couple of videos.